Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel! I don't remember the last time I was this excited to film a video because, oh, we're throwing it back. You guys know I'm somebody who always loves to thrift in past decades, and I really wanted today's outfits to be iconic outfits from iconic movies from the 2000s. This was hands down the best decades for film, especially for outfits too, so I asked you guys what some of your favorite ones were, and I decided to narrow it down to three who all have amazing outfits but are completely different styles. So today we're going to be looking for movies from 13 going on 30. They're very girly, very feminine. A lot of the things that we're seeing right now lots of lace more corsets very cottage core lots of dresses too at the same time we're gonna look for outfits from the movie mean girls you know the whole preppy look the mini skirts are so coming in hot right now and the third movie that i wanted to thrift outfits from is freaky friday this whole look from Lindsay lohan during this time was so iconic like punk 2000s i think it's a really good opportunity for us to thrift some more things in the men's section look for like a lot of cargos and work pants which are really popular right now i'm just so excited for this one you guys hopefully no matter what your aesthetic is you're gonna get something out of this video and once I have everything together, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to be sure to put together outfits recreating these iconic look from these iconic 2000s movies. So with all that being said, this girl is ready to head back to the 2000s. So let's get started. really excited just to get into the dress section because I so badly want to find a very similar dress to Jenna's iconic dress like this dress is so beautiful I would still wear it even today I feel like the chances are a little bit slim but let's keep in mind some of the things that are very inspired by her I would definitely say a lot of like light pinks if we have something with ruffles that would be really cool a lot of her dresses had like a fitted corset style or very like um, milkmaid that's the word so milkmaid dresses and tops just like this very girly flirty and thriving very much on theme for this video I see a little baby pink one right here oh Oh, this is so cute oh I feel like this is definitely something that she would wear look at those like little flowy sleeves and the length of it the baby pink too a dress like this is so on theme the pink and the ruffle sleeves it's something I do want you guys to keep in mind as much as I can really try my hardest to find exact dupes it's gonna be pretty much impossible so all of this is kind of like a hunt we really are using these films as inspiration so even if I find something that's like not an exact dupe for what I'm looking for but it's very inspired by it it's very something that one of the characters would wear I'm definitely gonna pick it up anyway oh <gasps> wait is this a set oh my god stop it oh my gosh guys look at this she would totally wear something like this this is fully beaded how stunning is that so size six with this mini skirt together wow definitely 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 so this dress right over here as you guys can see it has a little bit of a corset top jenna's outfit this one right here actually had a skirt in this exact same color and this even has like the belt that comes with it nothing says 2000s more than that I'm loving this color palette so far. Why is this dress right here just giving me Jenna energy? Look how feminine and pretty that is. I definitely want to try it too. Okay, a little bit unrelevant to the video, but I found a few gems that I wanted to show you guys on this go back rack. Whoa. All right, first of all, I've been really into the dark denim lately and I've really been wanting a dark denim jacket. I found the Levi's one. It's in a small size, which is perfect. I know everyone was about the light denim, but the dark denim, definitely popular for spring. And then I found the Ralph Lauren sweater. So freaking cute. It's $7 and it looks like it's in perfect condition. Like I, I gotta take this one, y'all. And then we actually found a Brandy Melville sweater. This one will go really well with the Mean Girls vibe. Like I told you guys, Baby Blue and the Art Guy was huge in that movie. So here in the long sleeve top section, this is where I'm really gonna dive deep into the Mean Girls era. Cause a lot of the knits would be here, the ones that are like button up cardigans or little sweater vests too. I would definitely find a lot of that here. And really just to cut down on my time, cause I'm probably gonna be jumping around to multiple thrift stores. I'm really just gonna keep my out for pastel colors. So like baby pink, baby blue. <gasps> okay, hold on. That is kind of perfect. Little fuzzy off the shoulder one. There's no tag on it, but with one of the mini skirts, for sure. Okay, here's a cardigan. Again, it's a size medium. I feel like it would be too big to give us that like form-fitted look, but I guess we can still try. I'm looking for that blue top that's definitely more of like a little jersey knit. Those are super hard to find, but I was able to find a very similar one. This right over here, it has the v-neck just like we need. It has the scrunching at the bottom and stuff too. I actually think that could be a very cute look. Sometimes I'm so grateful for people who put things away in the wrong sections. I just randomly found in the short sleeve tops a perfect pink cardigan. Thank you. 
praying I get some luck in this next section. I am now in the women's bottoms, like women's pants. And I'm sure you guys have seen that like the Dixie work pants, work pants, carpet nerve pants, those have really been coming back hot. A lot of people have been wearing them a low rise too, just like they did back in the movie. So I really want to find a good dupe for Lindsay Lohan's pants in Freaky Friday. Green, gray, it doesn't really matter. We're really looking for like work cargo style pants. Ideally not too cropped and hopefully my size. These ones could work, but they do look like they're a little bit cropped. And Lindsay Lohan was wearing um, darker ones in the movie, but I still think I might try these. These right here look like a pretty good dupe. It says that they're a size two, but I don't think so. I'll have to try them and see. And then for accessories, I actually think I have a lot of home already, but it would obviously not be complete without the grommet belt. I wish I had a black one. I couldn't seem to find one today, but this camo one is actually pretty cool. And I think it could actually work too. I so, so badly want to recreate this outfit from Mean Girls. Obviously, Regina George's iconic black leather skirt outfit. I actually found one right here that I think would be pretty cool, but it is actually from Guess. I do want to try it on. It's a size 8, so it could either be a little bit too big or too small, but I love this like liquid latex. It's the perfect thing to recreate that look. And then for Gretchen's outfit, she had kind of like a neutral plaid skirt going on. I really like the bold pattern that was on hers, but I found a very similar one right here. I'll try it on and see how it fits. If it's like super, super short, I may not get it because obviously I want to get clothes that I'm going to be re-wearing again, but I'm still in the look for some pastel skirts. Music's being really staticky, guys but luckily I found another skirt and this one actually has a nice mesh of the two mean girl outfits this is it it's obviously the pleated skirt style which we saw a lot but it's in a very similar pattern to the one that Gretchen Wieners was wearing so I think it's a really good combination of the two and I'm hoping it will fit me Okay, you guys, I was not planning on this at all, but I'm so happy that I just found this. I mean, oh my god, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Does this not look almost exactly like the skirt that she was talking about? It's actually a bigger size. It's a size 14, so I'm going to leave it behind, but this would have actually been totally cute. It was my mom's in the 80s. I mean, isn't that the aesthetic we're all going for right now? Regina, what you talking about, girl? I'm still in the top section, but something I actually ended up finding was a perfect dupe for this outfit right here for Jenna. Here's the top. Unfortunately, it's too big, but guys, look at this. It's red, it's got the print just like hers does, and it's even a crossover top just like hers. Maybe I can tie it in the back. Maybe I can also crop it. I don't know, I just feel like it'll be such a good dupe, so I wanna try it. All I need now is a pair of dark jeans for it, but I have a ton of those already with like a flare in the bottom. Guys, I don't know what to do at this point. The lighting in Goodwill is always terrible and the rooms are always green. But basically what I decided to do, the outfits that I like, like that one and a lot more, I'm actually gonna show at the end of the video. The ones that I'm not gonna pick up, I still wanna show to you here anyway. Like this two piece set, you guys saw the sequin top with the skirt. Honestly, I love the idea of it. I actually just think it's a little bit too big so I'm not gonna pick it up. As you can see, it's a very heavy top so it needs to be like very tight fitting. And because of all the beadwork, I feel like it's gonna be really hard to alter so I am gonna leave it behind but I still wanted to show it because I just think this beadwork needs to be appreciated. Oh, you guys, this dress is so pretty. It's honestly beautiful. I'm just gonna have to leave it behind because it's too small. Like, I can barely breathe here. But it's so cute and so feminine too. I just wish it was a size bigger than I would have definitely taken it home. I mean, like, even as a wedding guest for the summer, I would totally wear something like this. All right, so we made it back home, you guys. I have two huge bags of Goodwill items that I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I'm gonna do my best to take these pieces and put them together into outfits as close to the images as possible. Just keep in mind that a lot of these outfits are very inspired by these images, whether that be the color or the style or the silhouette, but we also definitely got a bunch that are like really spot on. I'm just looking at a lot of these items I got and these are honestly perfect spring outfits. I'm so excited to get into it and I guess we'll start with the 13 going on 30 looks. Okay, are you guys ready for this first one? I love it so much. And this outfit's kind of my take on a Jenna Rank dress. I think it has a lot of very similar silhouettes to what we've been seeing. This dress right over here, I noticed it was like a chiffon material and that's why I really wanted to get this one. Her dress also had like little sleeves. I definitely think that she would have worn something like this, especially in this really pretty baby pink. And I even wanted to pay attention to the details, so I even got the pink headband. I wrote down the prices of everything on my phone because the cashier actually priced everything on the spot. She just charged $4.99 for this. So $5 for this cute spring dress. Yes, 
Is it just me or is this outfit almost identical? I just paired it with some wide-legged jeans that I already had but the top I mean the fact that we found one that's like red with a white flower print I mean, yes, it was definitely like an extra 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 large, but I made it work I just kind of gathered it and then I also folded the sleeves up a little bit and honestly if I just like do a couple safety pins I can really make this work as an outfit. She was wearing slippers in the photo But I thought it was just the perfect opportunity to pull out my little mini Uggs. The best part is cashier at the front sold me this top for one 99 so I really feel like this is the reason why I love doing videos like this so much because it forces me to go out of my comfort zone And try different looks different styles different aesthetics that I never thought I would be into but look how cute This dress is so adorable I was basically on the hunt to recreate this outfit right over here And as much as I was looking I really couldn't find myself a yellow skirt But I found this dress in that exact same yellow as a skirt and I thought maybe it can work Obviously the top of the dress has a corset and it has the boning just like the top This dress is actually from H&M surprisingly, but it's a vintage H&M H&M. Like look at this tag just the structure of this dress down to the details It even came with a belt right at the waist and this yellow very hot right now for spring too And I just noticed now that I can actually make the straps removable So if I really want to do the whole corset style dress it can work too But still so cute so different than what I usually go for but let me know down below What do you guys think of this yellow dress? Let's get into the mean girls outfits now with that We got a lot of sweaters lots of cardigans lots of pinks and lots of plaid couldn't do a mean girls dupes video without recreating this iconic outfit from Regina George down to the skirt I am really surprised that we found something that was like shiny like this just like hers was it was almost impossible to find a t-shirt with that red graphic on the front but honestly a basic white tee works just as well and last minute you guys saw we found this cardigan in the wrong section but it wasn't wrong because it was meant for me to find it's like the perfect little baby pink I'm obsessed this is a bag I thrifted a while back from thread up I thought the shape and the color actually looked pretty similar to the one that she was holding seriously you guys all I'm missing right now is my hot pink flip phone and my blonde wig and this can pretty much be my next Halloween costume. Okay, classic Gretchen Wieners. We got the fuzzy pink sweater with a nice plaid skirt. I actually have two options for the skirt. Even though Gretchen wasn't wearing an off-the-shoulder shirt in this outfit, Regina was later in the movie just in black. So it's kind of like a nice mesh of the two trends. The sweater cost $4.99. The skirt was just $2.99. And like I said, there's two different options for the skirt. Here's option one. And then this is option two. It's a little bit more pleated, more similar to the style that she was wearing. But I don't know which one I like better. You guys can let me know down below which of these two skirts you think looks better with the sweater. Why do I feel so sassy? all of a sudden and I have this urge to say fetch all the time. All right, so I definitely feel of the three Mean Girl outfits, this one is definitely my favorite because like I mentioned in the past, I'm not much of like a red and pink girl. I personally love blues and greens. Let me just start off by saying that this top was just $1.99. Very cute and girly. Would I genuinely wear an outfit like this out? I don't know, it's debatable. Maybe like separately. I mean the skirt, I don't know. As much as it's great for outfit and small and stuff, it's kind of hard for me to wear pleated skirts like this out of the house, but I do really love this top a lot. I'm for sure gonna be re-wearing it but that's just a reminder to you guys all of this is just meant to act as inspiration and this whole mean girl segment as iconic as it is i do feel like it's the least me so that's why i'm excited for the next outfit because i get to wear a pair of pants again let's get fitted into our freaky friday look okay as much as these pants are like so baggy that they're pretty much falling off my waist there is a part of this outfit that i kind of feel the most comfortable in you all obviously know this iconic look from anna and freaky friday and i have to say that this was the hardest outfit to recreate by far because obviously her shirt was like so specific. I was trying so hard to find a baseball tee that was like red in the sleeves and then black in the front. It was pretty much impossible. So I ended up just doing the reverse. I got this long sleeve shirt to wear underneath and then I just paired it with a nice like tighter fitting tank top right on top. I think it still gives the same look definitely and I think each of these tops was like two or three dollars. So then we have the cargos. Obviously these ones are for sure a bigger size but I decided to get them anyway because I noticed a lot of people are wearing like a low rise super baggy work pants right now and I thought that I may try it out. To be honest I am kind of into it. I feel like there are certain looks that baggy pants like this can work. I wasn't able to find a black one but I did find a camo one which honestly I really like this one more than a typical black. I feel like it can help me add some pattern and texture to other looks. And then you already know the classic Converse for shoes. It's always a favorite. I pair it with honestly everything. There's like a lot more outfits in that movie that I could have recreated. Maybe I will in a future one, but this is the one that I like mainly wanted to do and I definitely think we did pretty well. But that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a really big thumbs up if you did. Comment down below which outfits from which movie are your favorite. And y'all already know that I'm going to be making this into a series. So be sure to drop down below some of your favorite 2000s movies. And maybe your favorite iconic outfits from certain movies will be in my next thrifting video. And don't worry, you guys. Even though I'm wearing this outfit, I'm never going to tell you you don't go here. You do go here. So be sure to subscribe down below. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye.